So we now want to allow the user to resume their subscription if they no longer want it cancelled by this date. So we need to do a very similar thing to that we're doing here. And in this case, I'm just going to put an else here. I'm going to create another list item with another anchor inside here. And basically, this is going to be to resume a subscription. Now the anchor for this, uh, the, sorry, the href for this is going to be the action to subscription resume. Now we're also going to pass a token here because again, this is a candidate for a potential cross-site request forgery attack. So we're going to uh, add the token in here manually with the cross-site request forgery token helper. Um, but we obviously don't have this subscription resume at the moment. So where do we put this? Well, before we resume a subscription, the user needs to be subscribed. Now, this is a little bit confusing. Subscribed means they're an active subscriber. They may still have cancelled. So we can just uh, basically copy this, say resume. We can get rid of that. And we can say cancelled, subscription, resume. And we can say get resume. And we need to create this cancelled filter so we can basically just copy this, paste that there, and if the user hasn't cancelled, we'll just redirect them here. So we are creating a lot of filters. You could do this within your um, controller, but it does just make it a little bit neater just to uh, uh, get them out of the way and then they can be reused really easily. So we're basically resuming now. So at the moment, um, we hit enter on here and refresh. We click resume, but obviously the uh, get resume method doesn't exist. So let's create that now inside of our subscription controller. So get resume. Now this is a little bit different. Um, it's not much harder to implement, but basically to resume, we need to choose the user's subscription um, and actually define it. Now we know that the user's uh, current subscription or plan rather is stored in here. So what we can do is we can say this user and then we can say subscription. We need to provide a subscription here like small or large. So in this case, we can just say this user stripe plan and then we use the resume method and there we go. We're resumed. So now we can just redirect the user. back to the generic subscription page. Cool. So let's take a look at this now. I'm going to go back. I'm going to refresh, hit resume. And then we go. We're back in the state that we were in when we subscribed the first time. We don't have the message showing that we've cancelled, but we now have the cancel my subscription option. I can go ahead and I can click and cancel my subscription again if I really wanted to. And there we go. And then I can go ahead and resume it again. So that's how easy it is to cancel and resume subscriptions. We've now given the ability uh, for a user to do that. But next, what happens if a user wants to update their card details if they want to use a different card? Well, in the next video, we're going to look at how to do just that.